One of my favorite stories in college football is uh, the Boise running back, Ashton Jante. Yeah, he went, yeah. uh, like, ha- not even halfway through the season, 1,031 yards, rushing 16 touchdowns, played very well against us. And I was like, oh, boy, this uh, – and I think you felt the same way. Like, all right, I feel a little better now that this guy is just running all over everyone. Is he plus 240? It's funny, he's about the same odds as Mahomes to win MVP, but he's plus 240 to, to win the Heisman. Does he run away with this if he keeps up the pace? Um. Well, I mean, they're going to have to finish 11 and 1, right? And be a playoff team, 12 and 1 for this to happen. You think Sal? so? Oh, yeah. to be a playoff team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, from the win the Heisman, right? He's not going to win the Heisman if they're 9 and 3. Well, LSU lost three games. I know it was in a tougher conference, but there is a little wiggle. Sure. Room, I mean, yeah. I well, Lamar yeah. was 9 and 3, too, I think, at Louisville. But yeah. the fact is, like, this is a running back from a G5 program, right? Now, rushing for nearly 200 yards against Oregon is a big deal. That's going to play well because Oregon's run defense is really good. Um, mm. But I don't, I don't think so. I actually think the winner of the Oregon-Ohio State game, that quarterback probably has inside track into winning the Heisman. Really? I still think Jalen Milrow is a good option. I think he's 11-1 today. Bama's still going to win a lot of football games. And he was fine on offense the other day. It wasn't his fault they lost that game. Yeah, I guess all these teams will probably end up with one loss. You're right. But I, I was also looking at that because Dylan Gabriel's 14-1. to I was like, wow, he'll be top three if he has a good game like we hope. But – it's funny you say Ohio State quarterback. Well, Jeremiah Smith is forty to one, and then Will Howard yeah. is fifty to one. I don't. I wonder if that's too far down to leap into yeah. the conversation here with top three. Well, Jeremiah Smith is certainly good enough to win this award. Um, yeah. It's just if you end up having a situation where uh, you're choosing between Will Howard and Jeremiah Smith, who gets the nod, right? So that's I think the yeah. question is who gets the nod. Jeremiah Smith can certainly win the award. He's incredible. What, what, but Travis Hunter's the only other one I wanted to talk about, plus 320. Yeah, I mean— What I, do they have to do? What, what Do they have to win Colorado? Uh, they, they might just be good for six wins and him playing both yeah. ways to the finish line. I have a, I have a Travis Hunter plus 3,500 ticket for the Heisman. Wow. So, um, Hopefully you survive to, long enough to cash it. Well, yeah, I mean, this is one of those situations, too, where you know, the cash-out option, which I never suggest otherwise, might be good to play here at some point, right? Yeah. Um, I uh, if they win nine games, maybe he's into it. I just don't see them winning six to eight huh. games and him being. I think he's maybe in in New York for the ceremony, but winning the award, I think, will be tough. But, but I think we all agree um, that he's the best player in college football, but he might not right. win the award. 